brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Hey, we're here on a bright, sunshiny day in October, and the sun's shining, and uh, this is one of the bright stars of the muscle tractor era of the 70s. This is an Oliver 2255, one of the most powerful tractors that came out in the mid-70s. Uh, Oliver, of course. Uh, you know, what's really neat about this, uh, they used a 3208 Caterpillar engine. Uh, so one of the few tractor manufacturers that actually put a CAD in it. Uh, 2255s were actually low production, uh, you know, just about, uh, I think about 2500 or 2600 or so, and even fewer with front wheel assist. So this thing was a real horse. Uh, you know, as we walk around, uh, it had a big operator's platform, and if you look at these fenders, you know, they're just a little different than a lot of fenders you see on a tractor uh, with the thickness. And uh, those were actually uh, fuel tank fenders, which uh, was an auxiliary uh, fuel tank to the fuel tank that was under the hood to, to feed that thirsty caterpillar. So, uh, you know, when it got out in the field, uh, you didn't have to go to the, go to the uh, refuel truck quite as often. You know, this is a really super, super nice example. It's one of the one of the nicest 2255s we've sold. Uh, this was brought down by a, a young man named Don Duhlman in Wisconsin, and, and he just did a fabulous, fabulous job on the restoration. Uh, as we walk around the tractor, you'll notice that it does have three-point hitch, you know, which not all tractors in this horsepower range in this size did. Uh, because they were big and and they were really made to pull but uh, but this this one this tractor would do everything uh, this was the largest uh, tractor uh, in Oliver's line for a while until they went to the uh, 24 and 26 55s which was an articulated four-wheel drive uh, so this was the the largest conventional uh, design tractor You'll also notice this has uh, spin-out wheels on the tractor. So you, you loosen up these lugs and you can actually spin the hub inside of the rim and adjust the, uh, the width, the rear uh, width of your uh, tire tread. Uh, you know, Oliver, Oliver did a really good job with ergonomics and, and operator comfort. Uh, their workstations and operators platforms were really nice, a lot of, lot of room, uh, telescoping steering wheel that also tilted, you know, which was uh, kind of a rarity in the day. Uh, and they had always had nice steps, uh, you know, to get up on there. Uh, they also uh, came out with a cab. You could get a, a, a year round cab on a 2255. Uh, I personally prefer that open station because I like to be out in the sunshine with it. So. So if you'll notice underneath the front of this tractor, it's got a mechanical front wheel assist, which is driven by a long pinion shaft uh, that goes back to the rear end. So, you know, of all the uh, 2255s that were produced, I would guess that maybe 25% or maybe less than a third uh, were actually uh, front wheel assist tractors. The, other one were, the others were two wheel drive with an adjustable wide front. Uh, you know, Oliver was always known for this big, heavy cast uh, uh, checkerboard grill on their on their uh, 150 and 55 series tractors. So not only does that put a lot of weight out there on the front of the tractor, this has also got optional. Uh, these are slab weights, and these are called candy bars. Uh, so these you can stack all the way up to here, and you can uh, you can bolt your slab weights to it, and really puts a lot of weight out there on the front of that tractor if you're pulling a heavy load. You know, the 2255 is, is kind of the epitome, that's the crown jewel of an Oliver collection because it's that biggest conventional style horsepower Oliver tractor. So, you know, that's one that every Oliver collector always strives to get. Uh, you know, it, you, you gotta have the bookends from the smallest to the largest and uh, that's what this old girl is. If you'd like to know more about tractors like the Oliver 2255 and find out about upcoming buying and selling opportunities, then visit the website almondvintagepower.com.